Hi guys, welcome back to College Dunia YouTube channel. Today we are back here with another video on safe score for JEE Main 2025. In this video, we will explore the JEE Main safe score for April session 2025 and how it compares to previous years. That will help you understand the marks needed to secure a safe percentile. So let's get started. Okay, here you can see that how marks versus percentile works. It majorly varies based on the difficulty level of the exam and the number of candidates appeared in the exam. So, as we move forward in the video, we will look into these two factors and their impact on the percentile calculation. So, next we have the unique candidates in JEE Main. So, the number of candidates that appear in the JEE Main exam every year plays a very important role in determining the marks required for a particular percentile because with more number of aspirants you will have to fight with more people for achieving the same percentile so over the years there has been a steady increase in the number of candidates as you can see in this table so with jee main 2025 expected to have around 15 lakh plus students next we have the jee main difficulty level analysis so the difficulty level also affects the marks versus percentile so what happens is suppose when the paper comes easy then more number of students can score higher marks so the percentile would be lower even with higher marks and similarly vice versa is also true so you can have a look at the difficulty level of the paper across different years so for example in jee main 2025 session 1 physics was moderate to difficult while chemistry was moderate and maths was very difficult Now we have the JEE Main 2023 marks. So these are the minimum marks which are required to achieve the particular percentile in the JEE Main 2023 examination. So we can see the data for both January and April 2023 sessions. So for example to score a 99 percentile in January 2023 a candidate needed a mark of 155 while in April the requirement was increased to 161. so indicating a difference of 6 marks similarly there has been an increase in marks required to score the same percentile in the second session so this trend is true almost every year because students are generally you know more prepared for the second attempt and even the board exams are also over and always remember that this data is for general category students next we have the jee main 2024 marks So you can see the marks required for specific percentile again in both January and April 2024 sessions. So the requirement for 99 percentile also increased significantly here in 2024. So such variations indicate the influence of the two factors, the exam difficulty and the number of aspirants. So this is how competition is determined. So the session 2 of 2024 that is the April session was comparatively easy and a lot more students appeared in it. So the number of candidates that appeared in JEE Main 2024 also broke the all time record. So now let's see the JEE Main 2025 expected safe score. Now for 2025 the January attempt is already over. So we have analyzed the expected safe scores for J main 2025 based on previous years data so we assume that an increase of 20 marks from january session would be sufficient to fetch the same percentile in april session so for example to score a 99 percentile in january 2025 148 marks were needed and based on our expectations in april 2025 168 marks would be sufficient to score the same percentile So this gives us an idea of how candidates should prepare according to the different scenarios. Again, these marks are only valid for general category aspirants. Now let's have a look at the minimum marks required to get admission into different NITs. So here are the tier one NITs. So to get admission in these tier one NITs like NIT Trichy, Surakkal, Varangal, and all other these uh, tier one NITs. the minimum marks to get the csc branch and the last branch are shown here so for example for nit trichy in 
247 marks were required so if you had 247 marks then you could get an id tg but in 2024 it increased to 250 similarly for nit surat kal for csc you required 234 marks while in 2024 you were needed to have 250 marks so similarly you can see the data for all tier 1 nits for csc branch and for the last branch now this is the list of tier 2 nits it also has the same data like the previous table so it has 2023 csc branch and 2024 csc branch data accord similar to the previous table here are the minimum marks to get admission into tier 2 nits for example nit bhopal's last csc branch cut off in 2023 was 186 while in 2024 it rose to 195 so you can see all the tier 2 nits data here let's move to next tier 3 nits so here is also the same data for tier 3 nits So here are 2023 CSC data and 2024 CSC data. Similarly, 2023 and 2024 last branch data is also available here. So you can see this data and analyze your expected score or you want to get in which NIT. So that's all for the analysis of safe score for the GME 2025 April session. I hope you find it useful. If you do please like and share the video and subscribe to our YouTube channel to never miss an update thanks a lot